The Nigerian Institute of Environmental Engineers Abuja chapter has called for effective management of the environment to avoid the spread of diseases across the country. Chairman of the Institute said this at the Clean, Renewable and Energy Efficiency Competition and Public Lecture in Abuja. It is important to know that the environment is an essential part of our existence. And if properly managed, it can be a productive resource to meet our socio-economic and aesthetic needs. Not only for today, but also for the generation yet unborn. Conversely, if poorly managed, that is, if we do not manage our environment, it could easily become hazardous and threatening to the individual and to the nation as a whole. The unwise use of our natural environment, especially in Nigeria, either due to ignorance, poverty, overpopulation, and greed, amongst others, has actually led to the degradation of the environment. And this has resulted to the deterioration of both the urban and the rural environmental quality, as well as natural disasters such as flood, um, water shortages, drought, desertification, transmission of communicable diseases, and so many other things. So it is pertinent for us to note that if the environment is not healthy, then everything within it is at risk. This competition that we're here today is organized in honor of an icon in renewable energy who consistently and constantly seeks to inspire and equip the next generation of clean energy entrepreneurs and innovators. And she's by name engineer Valerie Agbera by FNSC. And at the end of it, it is expected that the contestant will become environmental change makers in their own communities and in the nation at large. The theme for the competition is clean tech environmental innovation. And the students are expected to identify an environmental issue in their community and design an app to solve the environmental challenge or the climate change issue. Mr. Umar Jibrin, former Secretary of Federal Capital Development Authority and a guest speaker, delivered a lecture on innovations for environmental sustainability in Nigeria. Abuja ought to have been the number one um, um, you know, pilot, if you like, or the example of what environmental cleanliness and um, you know, the attempt to meet the global requirement in terms of environmental sanitation and, and health. Um, but because of all the activities that I've highlighted, there's a lot that still has to be done. Good enough at the initial planning and concept design of the territory and the city at large. It's um, something that has been done with the anticipation that these are likely to be the side effects. So it has captured all this matter of um, you know, flooding, you know, these solid waste management challenges, all the issue of uh, you know, lack of adequate either water supply or whatever. It has been taken care of, but like I said, there are a lot and lot of things that are undone in Abuja to the point that whatever it is, unless if we are able to do innovation, that will bring up some of what will help us to manage the ones that have been provided as of now and then find ways, even if it is using the window of public-private partnership, to find funds to be able to accomplish some of those ones that will help to complement these uh, facilities that will help to take us to the promised land. General Manager, Renewable Energy and Initiator of the competition explained its impact. Talent among this smaller generation coming up, they watch it on television, they see it on the YouTube, they want to practice it. So through boot camps, competitions like this, and having programs, workshop and seminar, we've tried to expose them to what these new technologies are and for them to be able to think that engineering is all that is happening around them. From the moment you open your eyes in the morning till you go back to sleep, it's all engineering at work. So we are helping them to see this and to develop their mindset towards thinking engineering, thinking environment, thinking sustainability. National Chairman of the Institute also spoke on tackling environmental challenges. The account of the losses that we have in the nation is centered around energy. 
There's no way you can beat it. Energy is the great challenge. It has been a great challenge to us in this nation. And we need to start thinking not only that one now, that there are other sources of energy that we have not been thinking about, and that's clean energy and rainbow. And this has come to stay. I use renewable energy in my house, clean it, and I do it. And that's what I do. At 24 hours, you'll get power, I'll get power. Because it's renewable, it's sustainable, and well, the only thing, the capital cost, I think cost to, to, that you need to invest in it. There is no other name. There is nothing about it, and we need to start a rent. And when we are doing city planning, we need to start planning alongside with the Clean Energy Initiative, because that is where the world is going. The Executive Director Network of Niger Delta Power Holding Company Limited spoke on funding for renewable energy in Nigeria. When this government came into, into office, the Abuja, the uh, Port Harcourt International Airport was the worst airport in the world. Today is one of the best airports in the world. You have seen, I mean, Enugu Airport was shut down completely. And Enugu Airport is functioning today, not only as an airport, but as an, an international airport. Port Harcourt is also an international airport. So when you want to talk about sustainability, the government of President Mohamed Buhari, GCFR, will be re remembered for sustaining a very good legacy. Even those who are from the, the, the Northeast, who for many years could not go home to celebrate anything. Today, they all go back to the Northeast to, to, to celebrate marriages, to, to bury their dead, and so on and so forth. I, I, I need to talk about these things because I am sure that President Mohamed Buhari will be remembered for so many good things. For the competition, Government Junior Secondary School Area 11 took first position and was awarded 200,000 Naira. Junior Secondary School Kwali came second with 150,000 Naira, while Junior Secondary School Chukuku was awarded 100,000 Naira for third position. The students appreciated the Institute for the opportunity and awards.